Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, it is a great honor to address you on the auspicious occasion of the 75th anniversary of the establishment of the People's Republic of China, the most momentous achievement in the history of the world. It would have been an even greater honor to have been with you in person, but prior commitments in Rochdale have made that impossible. Please accept my apologies for that and accept the warmest fraternal greetings of my party, the Workers' Party of Britain, which seeks to build socialism in British characteristics in our own country. We salute the friends of Socialist China for organizing this important gathering and for their tireless efforts over the years to build friendly relations between our two countries. And to comrade Keith Bennett in particular for literally decades of work in this field. Above all though, we salute the Chinese people who have dragged themselves out of bondage, out of foreign occupation, and out of backwardness to become the light of the world in these dark times. China's achievements cannot reasonably be adumbrated in a speech as short as this, or in a hundred speeches. Liberating scores of millions of Chinese people from poverty, reunification of Hong Kong with the motherland, electrification on the digital highway, ultra-high-speed rail, infrastructure developments of breathtaking ingenuity and scale, rising living standards, vaulting life expectancy, the Belt and Road Initiative, connecting people and places for the betterment of all mankind and becoming a powerful voice in global affairs which cannot be ignored. The SCO, the BRICS, the Belt and Road are all harbingers of the new world which lies just over the horizon. China's model has become the model of all rational people that will seek to strive that their country can be like China. China is the future and it works. And all this achieved almost in my lifetime. It is a kind of miracle. But it is a miracle achieved with much human toil and tears. And much remains to be done. We march with China on the road to full reunification of the country. We will the Chinese people on to still greater victories. Victories over imperialism and backwardness everywhere. Rejection of hegemony. Zero tolerance of corruption for a China and a world of equals, where each gives according to their abilities and receives according to their needs. This ideal, age-old and evergreen, is what inspired the heroes who founded the Communist Party of China in such conditions of adversity, made the long march to victory over China's enemies, founded the People's Republic, powered the new China into a 21st century in which China will be the shining city on a hill, inspiring all who look towards her. Long live the People's Republic of China. Glory to the Chinese people. Long live the Communist Party of China and its wise leader, Xi Jinping. Glory to the ideal of socialism the building of a world of peace, plenty, and equity. And long live the friendship between our two peoples.